In this video, I'm going to go over converting from decimal or an integer to scientific notation. So I'll just identify for you. Okay, so here, for example, we have a decimal number. Here is another decimal number. And here is actually a whole number or an integer. And now I want to convert all of these to scientific notation, which I'm going to just designate as S N. So let's try the first one. So it's negative 0 0.00841. And one of the things that happens when you convert to scientific notation, you have to change the numbers so that you create something which is called a mantissa which means the number itself, which is highlighted here, has to be between one and 10. Well, in order to make this number between one and 10, I would have to shift the decimal over. So if I shift it here, okay, so it's still not between one and 10. If I shift it here, Again, it's still not between, but if I shift it here, now I have it at 8.41. So that is the first step. Now the negative just designates that the number's negative. So it will still stay there. It is this number that we want between one and 10. Now, we're not done because for scientific notation, we know that we have a multiplication by a power of 10. And now the exponent that we place right here always corresponds to the number of shifts of the decimal that we had. So in this case, we had three shifts of the decimal. And the question always comes up, so is it going to be negative three or is it going to be a positive three? So it turns out that when your decimal number is actually less than one, it always is negative. So this will be negative three. And that completes the first question. So now let's try the second example. So in our second example, we have 4.9. I purposely picked this because, well, here our decimal number is already between 1 and 10. So we're not going to shift the decimal at all. It will just stay there. And that's the easiest thing that happens. And when you are not shifting the decimal, that means it didn't shift anything. Well, the exponent becomes zero because you didn't shift the decimal at all. So that completes the second example. Now looking at the third example, so if I take the integer, five, eight, seven, zero, zero. Now, I don't see any decimals in this number because it would be unnecessary to put one in. However, there is a hidden decimal always kind of at the end, which we don't really write. So now you notice that well, if I want to make this number between 1 and 10, I will have to start shifting the decimal in the opposite direction. So 
that becomes 5.87. I don't write the other zeros in. I just leave it as it is. And now again, because I am multiplying by a power of 10, my question is, what is the exponent? So here, the overall number was actually much bigger than 1. And the number of shifts was 4. So the exponent is 4. And it is positive because the whole number was actually bigger than 1, which is a contrast between the first example, notice this one right here, where the number was less than 1. And that's how you can tell if you put a negative or a positive exponent. So I hope this is helpful. These are typically the three variations from converting from decimal or an integer to scientific notation. Thank you for watching.